If someone were to ask you to name current players that will be elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame, you'll probably name guys like Albert Pujols, Mike Trout, Clayton Kershaw, and then guys who you think will make it, like Bryce Harper or Mookie Betts. One name that most likely won't come to your mind is Starlin Castro, and for obvious reasons. Castro doesn't have the stats that make you say he's a Hall of Fame player. However, he does excel in one category, and that is collecting hits. This video, we will break down Castro's improbable Hall of Fame resume and why he would be a voter's nightmare. In Major League Baseball, reaching 3,000 hits is one of the hardest milestones to achieve. Thousands upon thousands have played the game, and only 32 players have accomplished the feat. Only three players who have reached 3,000 hits have not made the Hall of Fame. The three players are Pete Rose, Alex Rodriguez, and Rafael Palmero. Rose bet on baseball while the other two were steroid users. When you look at Castro's career numbers, they don't say he's a Hall of Fame type player. He's a lifetime 280 hitter with 135 home runs and an 18.4 wins above replacement rating. Compare that to a guy like Francisco Lindor, who has a 28.6 war and hit 130 home runs in his first five seasons, it shows the difference between elite and average. The one stat that Castro thrives in is hits. In 11 MLB seasons, he has recorded 1,633 hits. Since his debut in 2010, Castro ranks fifth in Major League Baseball in this category. He's ahead of guys like Andrew McCutcheon, Joey Votto, Albert Pujols, and Nelson Cruz. In 2019, Castro also became the 35th player in history to reach 1,600 hits before turning 30 years old. As of today, Castro is 1,367 hits away from 3,000. To accomplish the feat, Castro would need to play 9 more years and average 152 hits or play 10 more years and average 140 hits per season. I believe he can achieve it due to his durability, his contact rate, and production. Since his debut in 2010, Castro has played over 150 games in 7 seasons and even played 162 in 2019. Castro is the type of player who doesn't look to walk. During his 11-year career, his highest walk total in a season is 48. Overall, he has only walked 312 times, or 5%, in 6,233 plate appearances. Castro has continued to produce and showed no types of decline at the plate. In 2019, he had 270 with 22 home runs, and in the shortened 2020 season, he had 267. Even if Castro reaches 3,000 hits, should the voters vote him in? In the photo, we broke down recent second base inductee Craig Biggio's first 10 years to give an idea of where Castro stands. As the stats show, his overall numbers are well below Biggio's. The difference in war is monumental, with Castro likely falling well short of a 44.7 war in his career. However, it is worth noting, Castro does have more home runs and hits. That's going to wrap it up for the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed our breakdown on Starlin Castro and why he might end up in the Hall of Fame one day. It's definitely going to be an interesting story to follow and controversial as well if he does reach 3,000 hits. With that being said, hope you guys have a good rest of your day and make sure to check us out on Instagram and TikTok. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next video.